to you a situation that that simulates this truck being parked unattended and how it has an effect on the occupant classification system calibration. We're going to start doing start that by showing you the calibrate the current calibration of the occupant classification system. Here we go. We've hooked up a scan tool to the car. We've turned the car on. We're going to go into the occupant detection ECU. And we're going in there to check the current the current calibration of the occupant classification system. We're going to utility, sensitivity check. This point's important because the car is, at, or excuse me, the, the computer, the tech stream, is asking you, as the technician working on the vehicle, to confirm that nothing is on or under the seat. So I'm looking on the seat, good. Good? Okay. Click next. So it's saying to ensure accuracy when you're doing this procedure to use these weights. We have special tools of these weights, and this is them. This is 10 kilograms. That's calling for 30 kilograms. So we're going to need three of them. Press next. When nothing is placed on the passenger seat, the sensor reading should be negative seven to positive seven. The current sensor reading is 0 0.15, 0 0.45. It's within range, and I also want you to notice how sensitive this is. It's down to a hundredth of a pound. Huh. So far, so good. Press next. Again, you're relying on the judgment of the technician to say, okay, it's within that range. Click next. Now it wants us to place that 30 kilograms on the weight of weight on the seat. Three. Does it matter which part of the seat you s stick it on? I mean, or like, I mean, do they have to be on top of each other like that? You wanna, this is mimicking a passenger sitting in the seat. You want to put it in the same way that the passenger would sit in the seat. That's a good point. You don't want to put it on the headrest. Put it hanging off of the seat. Think of where the passenger's weight's gonna be. Sure. That's where you want the weight to be there. Okay. So here's our current our current check. Sensor should read between 59 and 73 pounds. We're within range. We've just confirmed by doing the sensitivity check that this this system is properly calibrated. Okay? Okay, John, do you recall what the calibration was with nothing in the seat? With nothing? It was like 0.3 or so. Or it was bouncing between like 0.15 and 0.45, right. right? Right, right. So you need to remember that number. Now I'm going to turn the car off. I'm going to disconnect the heel seat. Scan tool disconnected. Key is out. Cars off. So this is a simulation of parts left unattended. Okay. Now let's say something comes up behind and hits this vehicle. Hits it enough to jar this passenger seat, which is what where the sensors are in the seat. So I'm just going to simulate that by giving it a whack with my hand. Okay. Now we're going to go in and do the sensitivity check again and see what the reading. Is. Remember it was bouncing between 0 0.15 and 0 0.45. Because if there is something different, then we have proven that it does make a difference, it, it does have an effect even if the key is off and the vehicle is left on the tank. The key's on, the computer is connected, we can go right back in. Remember, we're looking for anything different than 0.15 to 0.45. Which simulates the car pre-accident, basically, or pre-collision. Yep, we okay. checked it. We checked it before the collision, right? Yeah. Before the the hit parked left unattended, 
And now we're checking it after the hit left unattended. Sure. Park left unattended. And look what the look what the reading is now. The reading is negative 2.25 to 2.56. It's bouncing a little bit in the tens and hundreds, but you can clearly see that there's about a negative two pound difference, right? Yeah. John, yes, the reading is still within the tolerance. I wasn't trying to prove that that it's going to knock it out of tolerance. I was trying to prove that it's still affected, that the calibration is still affected by left unattended. Now, how much it's affected, that's gonna depend. That's gonna depend on how hard the vehicle was hit, what direction the vehicle was hit from, what was in the seat at the time that the vehicle was hit. So, it's gonna depend on, on the actual. Okay, so what that shows is, even though in this case it didn't knock it out of tolerance, you still need to scan it every single time be, to find out, to prove that each each time with each repair. That's right, you have to perform the sensitivity check. Now that's gonna be repair manual dependent. You're gonna to wanna to go to the sure. repair manual and see what the repair manual tells you. But you're going to need to perform the sensitivity check to, to tell whether or not the calibration needs to be performed.